Here's the elevator simulator again, and I've been using TypeScript now, which is an improvement over JavaScript, arguably. And um, I realized by looking at my web logs that when people run the elevator simulator now, they do a fetch from the index.html page for um, a whole bunch of different JavaScript files, like, I don't know, 10 of them here. So with TypeScript, with this option here, this out file option, I can have all of the code be merged together and put in this app.js. So it's not really meant to be readable, but that's just everything all put together. Um, I fixed a bug or two with the sound playing on Firefox, and those are the two things. So let's just um, take a look at it here. Let me make the turn the volume up a bit. Set it to native English speakers. One of the things I did with the sound was prevent people from talking uh, too much. Um, the check that I had to see if there was any speech currently underway didn't work the way I expected. So I put a little variable in there so that we wouldn't have any sounds. So we'd have a spacing between the sounds. I don't know if you can hear them talking. I don't have them. I'm not recording the sound directly from the computer. Bye. Let's look at the diff. Nice day for an elevator ride. Oh, you probably heard that. Let me turn that down now. All right, let's go like this, and maybe the unified viewer, make things bigger. And, oh, right, I also used enums in TypeScript. That's real nice. Okay, so I took out the JavaScript module code and added properties for things, and then switched to using the enums. You'll see more of them. This is now the car. So there's a bit of, I don't know, boilerplate having all these fields be here, these properties. Got to remove this create states thing because now we have the car state enum. Much nicer. So they look like this now. Type safety, TypeScript. Controls. You should start to see a pattern here. Remove this export default. Add these properties. This is the dispatcher class. Here's the car state. Here's rider state. Here's the rider state. Much easier to read like that. Writer state dot arriving. Get rid of all this. Here's a switch for the state. Here's the sketch. 
One thing about TypeScript is it made me create these properties that get added later. I changed the way this talker is instantiated. Here's the talker where the speech is done. One thing I added was this next speech allowed time. Initially set to the current time so that speech is allowed immediately, assuming it's enabled. Uh, I changed the code rather than populate the voice list in the constructor, I added a second method to do it in there. And then this is new. If the time now is after the next speech allowed time and the other stuff, then we can make the speech. Okay, that's it. Elevator simulator updated, bugs fixed. Now using TypeScript. Should load faster for the users because there's a single JavaScript file to load rather than a bunch of them. So long.